What a beautiful day! Yes, there's not a cloud in the sky. What's the temperature? It's seventy degrees. I love October. Me too. It's not too hot and not too cold. Fall is my favorite season. Mine too. The weather is almost perfect, and the leaves are very pretty when they change colors. Is it cold out? Yes, it's cold and windy. I'm going to wear my heavy coat. Good idea. Where are you going? To the post office. Why? To mail this package. Would you buy some stamps for me? Sure. How many do you want? Ten. Here's the money for the stamps. Okay. I'll be back in twenty minutes, unless I get blown away. Do you like snow? No, I hate it. Why? Snow is so pretty. Yes, but I don't like to drive in it. Well, it's beginning to snow. And I have to drive to work. How far is it to work? Six miles. Are we going to get much snow? About twelve inches, they say. Oh no! Driving will be dangerous. Please be careful. I will. By the way, can I borrow your car? When is your vacation? It starts next week. Where are you going? We're renting a house on the shore. That's wonderful. Yes, we love the ocean. Do you swim a lot? Not very much. Then why are you going to the shore? Because we all bought new swimsuits. I'm going to play soccer. Who are you playing with? Some friends from work. Are you a good soccer player? Yes, but I'm not the best player on the team. What time does the game begin? Nine o'clock. Why don't you come with me? I can't today. I'm very busy. Okay. See you later. I hope your team wins. My son is graduating from high school today, and my daughter is graduating next year. How old is she? She's sixteen. I remember when she was a baby. I know. We're getting old. Don't say that. Why not? It's true. No, it isn't. We were young when we got married. That's right, but we got married twenty-five years ago. Today is my cousin's birthday. What's your cousin's name? Kathy. I'm going to her house after dinner. How old is she? She's twenty-four. Hmm. She's my age. Is she pretty? Yes, and she's very nice too. Is she single? No, she's married and has two children. Oh, that's too bad. Not for her. <laughs> What are you getting Jim for his birthday? I don't know yet. You can always get him a shirt. But I got him one last year. Ah,、oh, that's right. Let me think. I want to get him something different. How about a briefcase? Good idea. His briefcase is getting old, and it's something he'll use every day. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Hello. Hello. Is Mary there? I'm sorry. You have the wrong number. Oh, is this six eight five five two nine zero? No, it's not. I'm sorry. That's okay. Would you like anything else? You haven't eaten very much. No thanks. I'm already full. 
Oh, come on. Have some more. No, I really can't. I've never been much of an eater. Have some coffee, then. That would be nice. How do you take it? With sugar, please. No cream. Here you are. Thank you. This is a nice flat. Hmm. There's a living room, there's a kitchen, a bedroom, and a bathroom, and there's a bidet. What's a bidet? It's like a toilet, only better. I'll let you figure it out. Well, none of my friends have a bidet, and even if I don't know what it is, they will be very jealous when I tell them. Well, here's the kitchen. Hmm, it's very small. Yes, it isn't very large, but there's a cooker and a fridge. There are some cupboards under the sink. Are there any plates? Yes, there are. Good. Are there any chairs in here? No, there aren't, but there are some in the living room. Hmm, there aren't any glasses. Yes, there are. They're in the cupboard. And、uh, where's the toilet? Where is your meeting? In Dallas, Texas. How are you going? By plane. Do you like to fly? Sure. It's fast and comfortable. I'm afraid of flying. That's silly. Flying is very safe. Maybe, but I don't feel safe in a plane. I understand. A lot of people feel that way. I'd like to reconfirm my plane reservation. What flight are you taking? Flight 207. And your name, please? Henry Chandler. Yes, sir. You're booked on flight 207. Please check in at the airport an hour before flight time. Thank you. Which tourist attractions do you prefer when traveling? Historical places or natural landmarks? Well, historical places are always my first choice when traveling. What do you usually do when visiting historical places? I usually listen to the tour guide introducing the sites and take notes about important historical events. Can you name some historical places you have visited? Whenever I travel to a foreign country, I always visit its famous historical places. Some of them are the pyramids in Egypt, Angkor Wat in Cambodia, Stonehenge in England, and the Taj Mahal in India. What's your most favorite historical place? Why? I love the pyramids the most. Taking a tour around the pyramids, I can not only enjoy the gorgeous architecture, but also learn cultural and historical values of the ancient Egyptian culture. What is the most famous historical place in your country? It's definitely the Statue of Liberty in New York City. What's special about it? The statue was gifted by the people of France. It is a symbol of freedom for the U.S. as well as a welcoming sight to people coming to the U.S. from another country. Where is it located? It's located on Liberty Island in New York Harbor, NYC. Should the youth visit historical places instead of other places? Sure. Nowadays, the youth should visit these kind of places more often in order to preserve historical and cultural values of their country. What are the benefits of reading a newspaper or magazine? Newspapers, magazines can broaden your mind about thousands of things without the need to travel. How often do you read it? I read it every day. What's the best time to read the newspaper? I think the best time is in the morning when you start a new day. What types of magazines do you usually read? I usually read politics and fashion magazines. I also enjoy reading about culture and tourism. What's your favorite magazine? 
My favorite is the New York Times, which writes about all sorts of things: business, sports, movies, travel, books, jobs, education, and real estate. Do you read the paper or online news? I prefer online news to save money. How much does it cost you to buy paper newspaper per month? I only buy a monthly newspaper, so it doesn't cost much money, around five dollars a month. What is the most popular magazine in your country? I think it would be Forbes magazine, a leading source for reliable business news and financial information. With the popularity of internet, do you think newspapers and magazines will disappear? Yes, unfortunately, it's just a matter of time. How many events have you joined this year? What were they about? I have joined more than ten events so far, most of which were about education. What was your most memorable event? The most memorable for me was an international study conference in which I was introduced to some famous universities in Europe to study overseas. Was it organized indoors or outdoors? It was an indoor event. Who sponsored the event? The event organizer was the Education Department of American Center, but the universities introduced in the conference were the ones who paid. Who went to the event with you? I went there with my friends, who shared the same interest in studying abroad as me. What were some performances in the event? There were not many performances. Each university representative just had a speech to introduce their school to students, and then they hosted Q and A session. Was the event shown on TV? The event was not aired, but there were television advertisements for it. How would someone market an event? Taking advantage of social media is a smart way to promote an event. Are you free Friday night? I might not be in town. I'm not sure yet. A friend suggested I go to Vancouver. Well, a few of us are getting together, and I thought you might want to come too. What are you thinking of doing? We're not sure yet. We might go to a bar, but we'll probably go to see AI. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Well, come then. Sure. If I'm in town, I'll call you and let you know. Oh, Miss Wallace, long time no see. How are you? Good, thank you. How's your new job? I started working today. How does it seem so far? It's demanding, but I'm happy to be working. What's your boss like? He appears to be very thoughtful and kind, but they all do at first. I guess we will have to wait and see. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Take care. Did you see my car keys? They're on top of the TV. You're right. Thanks. Where are you going? To the supermarket. Again? Yes, we eat a lot. Do you want me to go with you? Sure, if you can. Good. The packages will be heavy. There is a new health store right up the road. Maybe since you guys eat a lot, you should try and eat more healthily. Maybe you're right. We have all put on a little weight. Diana. Oh, George. Hi. How are you? Listen, I'm in a terrible hurry. The bank closes in twenty minutes. Is your bank near here? Yes, it's only four blocks away on Vine Street. Well, get in. I'll take you. Are you sure it's not out of your way? No, not at all. That is so nice of you, George. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi. Sorry, I'm late. I missed the bus. Oh, that's okay. I had time to clean up before you came. You don't look very good. I must be getting a cold. I've been sneezing all day. <gasps> Bless you. Thank you. 
You must be getting a cold. Why don't you go lie down? I'll bring you some aspirin. I don't see any aspirin in the medicine cabinet. We must be out of them. I'll go to the drugstore. Is there anything else we need? Could you get some? Achoo! I don't know if they sell achoo here, but I'll check. When can I see Dr. No? He won't be free until tomorrow. Can I make an appointment? Sure. How about tomorrow at 10 o'clock? Can you make it at 9? I'll check to see if he's available. I'm sorry, but he's tied up until 10 o'clock. Well, can't you squeeze me in somehow? I'm afraid not. How about after lunch? Will 1 o'clock be all right? That's perfect. Thank you. Excuse me. May I see your license? I'm afraid I've left it at home. In that case, you'll have to take it to the police station within five days. But, but why? You were speeding, ma'am. But I was only doing 75. There's a 70 kilometer hour speed limit on this road, ma'am. Is there? I didn't see a sign. Well, ma'am. We've been following you. So you were doing 75, too. No, ma'am. We were doing 90 kilometers an hour, and we couldn't catch you. Waiter, could we have the bill, please? Can I put it all on one bill? No, we'd prefer separate checks. Your bill's $18. That seems expensive. Would you check it again, please? Sorry, ma'am. This is your friend's bill. Here is yours. It's $24.16. Excuse me. Yes, can I help you? Yes, I'd like some information about buses, please. Where to? To Toronto. When? This Saturday. Morning or afternoon? In the afternoon, about 3 o'clock. There's one at 3.20. Thank you. That sounds perfect. I'll take it. Have you ever traveled abroad? If yes, what country was it? Yes, I have. I traveled to the USA last year with my family. Where is that country located? The USA is located in North America. What is it famous for? The USA is known for its cultural achievements and landmarks. What are the special food and drinks of that country? There are many. They are known for fast food, dairy, and many beverages. What do you like about that country? I like the fast pace of life and the various subcultures. How many citizens are there in that country? The current population of the United States of America was over 324 million in 2016, which accounts for 4.3% of the total world population. What language do people there speak? The national language is English, but many people also speak Spanish, French, German, and Chinese. Do you want to go back there again? Sure. Why do people like to travel abroad? They just want to discover new places, learn new cultures, and maybe speak new languages. On what occasions do people in your country celebrate parties? There are many occasions when people throw parties, such as New Year's Eve, wedding engagements, family reunions, birthdays, etc. But sometimes people hold parties just when they meet up and want to have something fun to do. Are you a party animal? Yes, I am. I am crazy about going to parties. I love meeting friends, drinking, and talking. When do parties often start and finish? It depends on what kind of party it is. I believe the perfect time to have a party is in the evening, from 8 to 11 p.m. Where are the parties thrown? They are held inside or outside. 
Some formal events, like weddings, housewarmings, are organized inside, while others, like family reunions and birthdays, may be held outside. What do you usually wear when you come to a party? I often wear casual clothes, like a t-shirt and jeans if I go to informal parties, and a dress for formal ones. What do people do in the parties you attended? At the party, people talk, eat, and drink together. Some go there to find business opportunities and new partners. Do you enjoy drinking alcohol at the parties? Yes, a little beer can cheer me up. Do people have to bring anything to the party? It's not required, but sometimes visitors bring some gifts to show their love for the host. Why do people, especially the youth, love going to parties? It's just a good way for them to chill out after a long day. Who is your favorite teacher? I like Mr. Tom the most. He is my English teacher. Is he a foreign teacher? Yes, he's from the U.S. What do you like about his lessons? I have fallen in love with his American accent, and he always shows us something new about the world outside of textbooks. What's he like? He's not only knowledgeable, but also very friendly. He always treats us like friends, not students. What does he usually wear when coming to class? He usually wears a gray suit when he comes to class. Do you love his subject? Yes, I enjoy English a lot. Do students in your class like him? Yes, all of us admire him. Do you want to be a teacher like him? No, although I am like him, my dream is not to become a teacher. I would like to be a chef. Have you ever been punished by him? No. He rarely punishes anyone. Do you want to see him again? Of course. He's a great mentor. What subjects did you learn in school? I learned math, science, physics, biology, geography, history, literature, English, art, and music. What subject did you like the most when you were at school? Were you good at it? I liked biology the most, although I was excellent at literature. Did your friends like that subject too? Yes, they did. They enjoyed every single biology lesson. Was the textbook written in English or any other language? It was written in English. Who taught that subject? My teacher was Miss Karen from the USA. How was the subject helpful to you? It helped me a lot in becoming a biology teacher. How often did you learn that subject? I often had biology lessons five times a week. How long did you spend on that subject at home? I spent roughly two hours per day studying biology at home. Have you ever attended any extra classes for that subject? Yes, I have. I usually attended evening classes. Is it important to study hard on both social sciences and natural sciences? No, it isn't. Students should study the ones they like and the ones that are helpful to their career path. What type of museum is popular in your country? There are many types of museums, but the most popular are historical museums. What is the most famous museum in your country? That would be the British Museum, located in London. What's special about it? I'm impressed by its large amount of historical, art, and cultural work. How many times have you visited that museum? I have visited the museum twice. What do you usually do when visiting a museum? 
I usually listen to the tour guide and take notes about important information. Are you allowed to take pictures there? No, the guards did not allow us to bring the camera in. How did you feel after visiting there? The overall experience was fantastic, and I learned so many things in just a few hours. What do you think is the importance of museums in history? Museums are an integral part of any country's history, and they keep history alive. Do you usually watch movies at home or at a movie theater? I usually watch movies on my laptop. Sometimes I go to the movie theater. Is watching movies at the theater more interesting than watching movies at home? Yes, definitely, because you can watch vivid images on a large screen with lively sound effects. How often do you go to the movie theater? I often go to the movie theater every weekend. What's your favorite type of movie? What movie of that type do you like? My favorite type is comedy because whenever I watch one, I feel like there are no more worries in the world. I love the Mr. Bean movie series. Was that movie adapted from a book? No, the story is derived from funny situations in real life. Who are the actors or actresses in the movie? Mr. Bean is the main character. He is played by Rowan Atkinson, who is from England. Was it recommended by your friend, teacher, or family? It was recommended by my classmate. Was the movie in your mother language or in English? It was in English, but I can also watch it with subtitles. Should children watch violent movies? I don't believe so. Young children are very impressionable, and it could lead them to wanting to imitate the behavior. What's the most important factor of a great movie? I believe that plot and actors are among the factors which decide the success of a movie. Did you hear that Sarah cheated on the test and got an A? I can't believe she got away with it. When you look back on your life, do you have any regrets? Yeah, I wish I hadn't invested all that money in stocks. You'll be late for school. What will you tell the teacher? I'll make up an excuse. Did you find any mistakes when you looked through my essay? Yes, I found a couple. Did you hear that Will made a house out of an old train car? Wow, he dreams up such interesting things. Did you see Bill and Monica kissing at the party last night? Yes, it made me want to throw up. He said he'd be here at 8 o'clock, but it's 8.30. Should we wait for him? Yes, maybe he got lost. I'm going to get an orange from the refrigerator. Do you want anything? Yes, could you bring out some watermelon, please? The weather is warmer this summer than it has been in the past. Why is that? I don't know. Some people think the warmer weather was brought about by air pollution. Why are you going to go to a movie with Tom? I thought you were angry at him. I was angry at him, but we made up with each other. Now we are good friends again. Where is Donald? I thought he was going to play soccer with us tonight. He was going to, but some relatives called on him unexpectedly. I would like to get the trees in the photo too. Okay, I'll just back up a little. I really don't like the new coffee machine. You should bring it up at the next staff meeting. They had to call off the soccer game yesterday. How come? I am hungry, but I don't want to cook. I am hungry too. Let's call up the pizza place and order a cheese pizza. The taxi will be here in a few minutes. Let's carry out your luggage. Your team is really far behind. 
Yes, I don't think we can catch up with yours. Please check my homework. Sure, if I come across any mistakes, I'll tell you. Come out of the sun before you get a sunburn. That's a good idea. I'll sit in the shade with you. I'd be happy to help you study. Thanks, I can always count on you. I want to eat this apple, but it looks rotten. Just cut off the rotten part and eat the rest. You look really tired. I couldn't fall asleep last night. I can't figure out where I put my glasses. Look on your hand. I'd like to apply for a credit card. Okay, just fill out this form and sign it. Thanks for giving me a ride to the library. No problem, I'll stop the car in front of the library and you can get out quickly. That big guy keeps telling me to do his homework. Don't give in. Learning to play the guitar is really hard. Don't give up, you will learn if you keep practicing. This movie was really boring. Yes, it just seemed to go on for hours. Here is the pizza you ordered. Hold on, I'll go get my wallet. Let's hurry up and finish before dinner. Good idea, I'm hungry. Please tell your kids to keep off the furniture. I will. Sorry, Mr. President. I am really nervous about the test. Just keep up a positive attitude and you will do fine. Let's go out for a nice dinner. Good idea. I am tired of living on spaghetti and water. I'm longing for the ocean. Okay, let's go to the beach. I'm looking forward to our vacation next month. Me too. It's going to be fun. Look out. You almost stepped on my mouse. Sorry, I didn't see it. Let's look over our travel plans again. Why? We're just going to the store. You are supposed to come tomorrow, not today. Sorry, I mixed up the dates. I want to buy a shirt, but I don't know which color to get. I'll help you pick out a color. This room is a mess. Pick up your toys. Okay, Mom, I will. I think we're lost. Let's pull over and look at the map again. Let's go for a walk. Okay, let me put on my shoes. Sir, please put out your cigarette. Sorry, I didn't know this was a non-smoking area. I think we should put together a ski club. Good idea, I'll ask my friends at work. Haha, -ha, you're stupid, you can't do math. Stop it, I can't put up with your teasing me anymore. Speeding could result in a traffic fine. I know, but we're late for the wedding. I'm leaving for China tomorrow morning. Okay, I'll be there at the airport to see you off. Our trip is coming up fast. You're right, let's set aside some rhyme to plan tomorrow night. Sorry, we don't have any red caps. That's okay, I'll settle for a green one instead. Please slow down, you're walking too fast. Sorry, I'll walk more slowly. I want to be a dancer, but my father says I hate to join the army. I think you should stand up to him and tell him what you really want. I went to sleep at 3 a.m. last night. Wow, you stayed up late. Hey, look, those policemen just ran into that store. Let's stick around and see what happens. Joe is an excellent soccer player. He takes after his father. He is very good at sports. 
Let's go for a drive in the country. Okay, after I finish eating we'll take off. I am getting tired of mowing the lawn. I'll take over this week so you can have a break. I'm sorry to take up so much of your time, doctor. No problem, I'm glad you are feeling better. I'm glad they tore down the wall. Me too, the view is much better. I'm going to take a jacket to the movies. Good idea, it tends to be cold in the theater. Let's think up a way to surprise Dan on his birthday. How about inviting all his old girlfriends? Can I throw away these boxes? Yes you can, I don't need them. I like these pants, but I think they're too small. Try them on, maybe they'll fit. Your skateboard looks really fun. It is, why don't you try it out? I tried to join the band but they turned me down. Maybe you should learn how to sing first. Good luck with your new project. Thanks, I'll let you know how it turns out. Excuse me, no one has waited on us yet. I am very sorry, I'll get a waiter right away. I'm going for a bike ride. Watch out for cars. It's almost lunchtime. Okay, let's wrap up and go out to eat. Oh no, it's starting to rain on our picnic. No problem, I will carry the hamburgers to the house and you can bring in the cake. Help, there's a spider on the desk. Calm down, it is not going to hurt you. That man just cut in front of us. How rude. I can't deal with all this noise. Maybe you should get a different job. I forgot to bring my hair dryer. Don't worry, I think you can do without it. Let's climb over the fence and touch the tiger. No thanks, I don't want to end up as lunch. I am fed up with eating him every day. Okay, tomorrow we'll have bacon. Wow, you have a lot of books. I have too many, I think I should give away a lot of them. What a gloomy day. Yeah, I wish those clouds would go away. Let's go on the roller coaster one more time. No thanks, I don't want to go through that again. Alright, hand over my keys. I don't have them. Oh, no, I've gained six pounds. Why don't you lay off snacks for a while? One can't believe that your girlfriend forgot your birthday. Yeah, I feel really let down. I still haven't found my bag. Look around at school tomorrow, maybe it's there. Look at those beautiful flowers. Wow, I don't think I've seen any like those before. I really messed up, I forgot my wife's birthday. Don't worry, just buy her some flowers and say you're sorry. Wow, you look great. Thanks, joining that health club really paid off. Wow, that girl is really ugly. I should point out that she's my sister. Look, I got an A on my test. Stop showing off. I promised my parents I would study tonight, but I want to play computer games. Don't play computer games, stick to your promise. Your puppy really eats a lot. Yes, he's going to turn into a big dog someday. Let's listen to some music. Okay, I'll turn on the radio. I use up three tubes of gel every month. Maybe you should get a haircut. Be quiet, you'll wake up the baby. Sorry, I'll practice my trumpet outside. 
Wow, your shoes have a lot of holes. I know, they wore out because I walked 5 miles in them every day. Where is the nearest bank? The nearest bank is on United Street. How is your family? My family is fine. Have you been to China? Yep, I was there last year. Can you write it down for me? Sure. Who wrote this article? Michelle wrote this article The Sun Also Rises. How long have you been married? For three years. What color is your bag? It's black. Are you married? No, I'm not. Where is the post office? It's in front of the hotel. Do you have any rooms available? No, sorry, we're full. Are there any problems? No, everything is okay. Those shoes are nice, aren't they? Yes, very nice. Are you tired? No, I'm not. Would you prefer to have dinner now or later? I prefer later. Who are those people? I don't know who those people are. Do you stay with your parents? Right now, no, but I used to. Why are you studying English? For work. Do you know any German? I only know how to say hi in German. Why are you putting on your coat? I'm going out. Are you tired? Yes, I am. Where did you go? I went to shopping with a friend. When are you going to Russia? I will go there in September. Are you going to tell Vladimir what happened or would you rather I told him? No, I'll tell him. Do you watch the news? I watch it every day. How can I contact you? You can call me on my cell phone. Are there any restaurants near here? No, there aren't. Do you want to walk to the hotel? I don't know. How far is it? Are you here for the first time? Right. Who is your favorite singer? I'm a big fan of Molly Cyrus, a talented U.S. singer, songwriter, and actress. Were there many people at the meeting? No, very few. Are you Australian? No, I'm Canadian. Is that sport popular in your country? Yes, it is. Are you married? No, I'm single. Have you got a camera? No, I don't. How did you learn English? I took classes for three years. You haven't eaten yet, have you? No, I'm not hungry. Claude went to college, didn't he? Yes, he studied psychology. Are these your keys? Yes, they are. What are you doing tomorrow afternoon? I'm working. Are you wearing a watch? No, I'm not. Would you like to go out tonight? I'd rather not. Are you hungry? No, I just had dinner. Are Vincent and Valerie here? Yes, they just arrived. Are you coming back soon? Yes, I'll be back next week. When is Hideki going to work? He's already gone to work. Where are Deepak and Lakshmi? They're playing tennis in the park. How was the party? It was a good time. Are you Brazilian? No, I'm not. Is the sun shining? 
Yes, it is. Is there any rice? Yes, there's a lot of rice left. When did you go to China? I went there five years ago. Have you ever been to Peru? No, but Evelyn has. She went there on vacation last year. How is business? Business is good. Are you a student? Yes, I am. Do you think we should wait for Howard? No, let's not wait for him. What can you learn from books? Books can broaden my horizon about thousands of things around the world. Can you give me a hand? Sorry, I'm a bit busy at the moment. Can you hear me clearly? Yes, I can hear you very clearly. Is it true that you speak Chinese? Yes, I can. Should we have the party? Yes, who shall we invite? Can you see me? No, I can't see you. What is the best time to call you? After five. How did you learn English? I've been studying by myself. Have you ever been to Peru? Yes, twice. What did you buy? We bought some new clothes on sale. Do you watch TV a lot? No, I don't. Do you usually bring books with you when you travel? Yes, I do. When I'm at the airport or bus station, I read books to kill time. Can you translate this for me? Yes, I will. What newspaper do you read? I read the New York Times. Did you buy anything yesterday? Yes, I did. What piece of music do you like? Who sang that song? My favorite song is Jillian, sung by Miley Cyrus. Can I try it on? Sure, the changing rooms are over there. Are there any sandwiches? No, there aren't any sandwiches left. Are you doing anything this evening? Yes, I'm going out with some friends. Did Alexei and Anastasia go to the wedding? No, they weren't invited. Is this your book? No, I think it's his book. Are you married? Yes, I am. Did you like China? I loved it. It was so much fun. Are your friends staying at a hotel? No, they're staying with me. Are you enjoying the movie? Yes, it's very funny. Are you hungry? Yes, I am. How often do you come here? I come here almost every day. What do you do in your free time? I like reading and relaxing at home. Is the internet slow? Yes, it's very slow. Why don't we go out visit some old friends this afternoon? Yes, that sounds like a great idea. Where's the pharmacy? The pharmacy is next to the bank. Whose is that? It's Henry, my sister's fiancé. Are you sitting on the floor? Yes, I am. The movie wasn't very good, was it? No, it was terrible. Marta will be here soon, won't she? Yes, probably. Do you work or study? I work. What do you like to do on weekends? I like playing cricket, reading and listening to pop music. How many places have you traveled to? I've visited all the provinces throughout my country. When was the last time you were in a car? Just this morning. 
Are you a teacher? Yes, I am. How often do you eat out? Who do you go with? I often eat out on weekends when I hang out with my friends. Do you think you'll get a raise soon? I hope so. How can I help you? Yes, please, I want to. Have you got something bigger? Certainly, we've got larger sizes as well. What in number 39, as the weather like? It's raining heavily at the moment. What type of food do you enjoy to eat, Western or Asian? I'm interested in Asian food, Western food is not my thing. What would you like to drink? Just water for me. Is it dark now? Yes, it is. What does she look like? She's tall and slim with blonde hair. Is this worth $500? No, it can't be worth that. Are you ready to order? Not quite, I think we need a little more time. How tall are you? I'm about 6 feet tall. Would you like some coffee? Yes, thank you. I'd like some coffee. Who do you usually go with? I often go with my family, sometimes with my best friends. Clara doesn't go out much, does she? No, she doesn't. Have you seen my phone? No, I haven't. Do you want to see a doctor? Yes, I do. What makes you happy? Going to the beach. What time is it? It's half past four. Do you go to school? No, I go to university. How much does it cost? How much is it? This shirt is for $50. Are we there yet? No, not even close. Do you enjoy spicy food? Yes, I do, especially on cold days. Are you a native speaker of English? Yes, I am. Have you ever been abroad? Yes, I have. I came to Italy last year for a business trip. Where is a bank? There's one on 10th Street. What would you like to eat? I'd like a burger, chips and soda. May I sit here? Sure. Is this correct? No, it's wrong. What is it like? It's an interesting country, many things to see and do. How was the movie? It was very interesting, you should watch it. Would you like something to drink? Thank you, could I have a cup of coffee and some cake? Are you waiting for a bus? No, I'm waiting for a taxi. Can I help you with your suitcase? No, thank you. I'd rather do it myself. Do you understand? No, I still don't understand. Did you like the movie? It was fantastic. Do you feel relaxed listening to music? Sure, I feel like there are no more worries in the world. Is this right? Yes, it is. How do you feel about Clara? Clara is quite friendly and helpful. What did you do on Saturday evening? We went to see a film. Are you thinking of buying a car? Yeah, but I still haven't made up my mind. Did Evelyn come to the party? No, she didn't. What color is your car? It's red. Are your hands cold? No, they aren't. Where were you? I was in London for the weekend. 
Is everything okay? Yes, everything's fine, thanks. Do you need medicine? Sure, medicine would be nice. Did you call Camilla? Oh no, I forgot, I'll call her now. Why is music important to us? Music has the power of beautifying our life. Can I get you anything else? Just the check, please. Why are you sad? Because my kit died. Can somebody show me how to change the cartridge in this printer? Sure, I will. Do you usually go to bars or clubs? Not often, I sometimes go there on weekends. What do you do in your free time? I usually hang out with friends. Did your parents have a good trip? Yes, they did. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Is your room clean? No, it's really dirty. Are you feeling all right? No, I'm not. Do you have a non-smoking room? Yes, we do. What is your favorite movie? That is a good question. Let me think. Do you know anything about California? Yeah, I lived there for two years. How would you like to pay? I would like to pay by cash. What does your friend Tom look like? He's tall with a beard and blue eyes. How long should I wait for you? Wait for one hour. Are you American? No, I'm not. Should we have a party? Yes, who shall we invite? What's it about? It's about a young girl who has many adventures. Are you feeling okay? Yes, I'm fine. Is it American English? No, it's British. Have you ever tried Italian food? Yes, at least once when I was in my friend's wedding party. Are you watching TV? No, I'm not. 